Hello everybody, this is another pro tip guide for ducking. I feel like I wasn't as clean as I should have been on the first one, so I'm making another one. So let's start off with angle aiming. As you can see here, there's three boxes. These are the three different types of angles you can hit with your shots. So there's steep, where it hits the first box. And there's the second angle, which is the second box. And the third angle, which is the last box. So there's the first, second, and third. It's kind of difficult to aim those, which is why you need to practice hitting these shots. There's nothing really you can do, it's just practicing these shots. So just maybe come to the editor mode and just try practicing what I'm doing. Try to hit the targets, the different boxes. Because these are the three levels of steepness. You can see it better with the sight of a sharpshooter or a sniper. If you can see when you spin around, the laser lands on many different points. Each one of the points you see the laser is where a bullet shoots. So if you see here, if I want to aim at the bottom left of the three different boxes, you can kind of see where the laser ends up. So you can see that I'm hitting which boxes I'm hitting when I turn. I'm hitting like the second one right now. I'm hitting the first one. I hit the third one. So you can see it. Maybe practice the sniper as well. The second thing I want to get into is ragdoll jumping, but the actually is called super jumping. So as you can see here, you should know this. To get up to higher places, you can just uh, doll save yourself by just getting to that corner while you doll. So now to get even higher with places you can't normally get to that, you want to double jump. How you do that is you double click ragdoll and then double click jump. A really fast process. You double click ragdoll, as you can see here, double click, and then double click jump right after, very fast. When you do that, it does an effect where it's a double jump and you go twice as high. And actually not twice as high, you go higher though. As you can see, I made it up here without even dolling. You can go even higher if you doll into a corner. Like I can probably go up one more space if I wanted to. So yes. The third thing I want to get into is clipping. I still feel this is a beginner thing, but I actually see pros not doing this more often than they should. So clipping is when you go through floors or walls. As you can see here, I just went above. It works with this, it works with that, normal doors and glass windows. It also works in the corner of walls. As you can see here, it has to be just about this height for you to go into them. To do this, you just want to, I usually strafe into the back of the wall and just spam doll a few times and maybe jump. But you want to kind of run into the wall, so you run into it like that. You don't have to run into it, but for me, it's easier to do that in walls. For glass windows, I just double click doll for me. Yeah, it works like that. One thing that many people ha have difficulty on is getting items fast. Ha there are a few cases in duck game maps where it's between whoever can get the gun fastest. So let's say there's me here and an enemy on the other side of this chainsaw, and we're racing to get it. The way to get it faster is to spam shoot and jump, no, shoot and grab at the same time. If you do that, you get the gun much faster than it looks like you should. So I'm way back here. I'm way back here, but I'm able to get the gun from there. An even easier way and faster way to get the gun is if you slide into it. Because your feet get to it first, faster than the other player. Because you're, it's longer. So you slide and grab the gun, it's really fast, much faster. And then another thing that helps you get guns faster is you don't have to be right next to the gun to get it. So if you see here, I'll drop the gun way over here into that corner and I can still get it from the other side. If there's no trick to it, you just grab the gun. You can get guns in duck game much faster than you should. And then here's another case for double jumping so you can get to the gun faster than the player. Because normally you can't get the gun from down here, but if you double jump, you can get the gun. 
And here is some sword tech I feel like should be added into this video. So, there's a normal swing for the sword, there's jabbing, there's pogoing, and then there's sword climbing. Pretty much the only way to kill players is by jabbing. If it was between you and another player, and the other player was swinging, and you were jabbing, you would definitely get the kill. And as you jab, you can do many more things. Like, you can get higher and kill people higher than they are. And you can back, you can go through walls with swords as well. You can also sword climb. So, how to jab is you crouch, you pull the different direction of where the sword is, the different direction you're facing. So, I'm facing right, so I want to crouch and pull my key or joystick left. And then shoot and that allows you to jab and you just hold the shoot button and you can walk around and stuff and then there's another trick where if you slide back and jab really fast your sword gets higher and higher loft so you can get higher angles on your sword it helps in different cases so let me try to get the steepest angle there is which is this one right here I'm actually in a jabbing formation but it's straight up and down what this helps do is let's say there's a player right above me and I they're jabbing outward so you can't jump well you grab this you float and then the sword goes through the wall and kills them because look how far back this sword goes to the wall it goes very far back so you can get easy kills like this it also just helps in many different ways sword climbing is very simple there's two different ways there's pogo stick jab I'll show you here where you have to pogo, and as soon as you pogo, you start jabbing, and you spam jab. And that's you go up the wall very fast. And there's another way where you go against the wall, you crouch, you float, crouch, and shoot. Those are the two different ways you can po uh, sword cut. So those are the tips I showed you for this pro video. I hope it helped you guys, and I hope it was better than the last video. Thank you.